According to Beijing, a U.S. destroyer, the Decatur, came within 12 nautical mile territorial limits claimed by China on September the 30th. The Chinese Defense Ministry says the U.S. did not ask permission to sail so close, and a Chinese naval ship reacted immediately to identify the U.S. ship and warn it off, resolving the situation. Washington, however, says the Decatur had to move at the last second, essentially, to avoid a collision. The incident occurred off the Nangshun Zhao and Chinghua uh, reefs, known by the U.S. as the Gavin and Johnson reefs in the Nancha Island chain, known in the U.S. as the Spratleys. While the U.S. maintains it does not take sides in the territorial disputes in the South China Sea, it often sells its ships within uh, the 12-mile nautical territorial limit claimed by China, uh, saying that these are international waters, and it's a signal that Washington does not recognize Chinese sovereignty over the area. As you know, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia also make sovereignty claims in the area. Now, these US so-called freedom of navigation operations have been stepped up by Washington and others in the last few months. Spokesperson for the China's Defense Ministry of National Defense said Tuesday that China has indisputable sovereignty over the South China Sea Islands and their adjacent waters. However, the US sent vessels to enter the South China Sea without permission, threatening China's sovereignty and security and harming the two countries and militaries' relationship as well as uh, the region's peace and stability. Uh, good, ap good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Secretary Mattis and I are pleased to welcome Director Yang and 